Jam. Is that me? The Moen song? Yeah, it's the Moen song. People waiting to get into the school or what? Yeah, way early. Got out at 1.45 when I went there. They got a ways to wait. Best superhuman ability you could have for being a mower? Being a what? Being, as being a mower, what would be like the best uh, like special ability? Like, to have. To have, yeah. Uh, I wish I had a couple more arms so I could be while I'm going. That'd be kind of cool. Or if I had like a separate set of eyes on the back so I didn't turn around and look when I was backing up. <laughs> That'd save some time. That'd save time, yeah. What about just like super speed? I already have that. Oh. <laughs> He's all, that's a given. <laughs> I don't know if I had a superpower like that. We probably wouldn't be cutting grass. We'd be doing something else with it. Like robbing banks? Yeah. Uh, I wish I had some type of like product I could put on the grass to make it not grow. What if that was your mutant ability? Like, you could make things grow or like wither. Like, that was your ability. So you just walk up to a yard, they're like, yeah, I would like, you know, I'm just trim like this. I'm like, okay. And you just, you control the plants and make them grow to a certain size and that's it. They yeah. just stay there. But you'd have to come by every week and make sure that they stayed that size. So, yeah, just kind of, you know, your, your, use your mutant ability, touch the earth, and then just make it. You know, people are like, oh, oh I, want this, I want this bush. They give you seeds and, you know, and you just put the seeds in the ground and then they'll turn into like, sprout up into this big old, you know, bush you make it grow into a bush and into the size it needs to be and then you just kind of like stop its growth there. and you cut it down and then you cut it down yeah and then you set the house on fire <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but yeah that escalated quickly <laughs> so it's like we went from planting the bushes to setting their house on fire i'm like oh. it's, I, I, I guess there's correlation somewhere <laughs> you just start a construction company you just start a construction yeah, there you go kingdom con constructor uh construction King Kingdom Builders. That's a good one. I like that. We are the Kingdom Builders. He's like, yeah. Maybe like on Facebook <laughs> World Records or something. Yeah, true. I had super speed. I would be in the Olympics. Just decimating all. What, what sport? All of them. All the running sports. You can practice at the sports courts. Sports courts. Sports courts. I only want to live in places that have sports courts. <laughs> if it doesn't have any sports courts, I don't want to live they have there. Free pavers here too. Oh yeah. Free if they, pavers, free malls. If you find that, if you find pallets and stuff just sitting around, um, you can you can definitely um, just take the stuff. So we've been told by a very reliable source. <laughs> find this house again. Kind of that, hard when they all look. If, that's it right there, right? That's it, that's it right there. Definitely. I mean, it's it's hard to tell. All these houses all look the same. What do you think is like the biggest the biggest complaint that customers have about uh, their yard, either prior or or post um, cut? Like yards I get from other companies. I mean, the complaint is they use too much weed killer big old circles around all the trees a big like a foot wide gap around the house that'd be the biggest complaint I've probably heard. People don't want a gap around their house? They want no, the grass? I guess not. You guys just blowing the grass everywhere. You know if you don't blow the grass everywhere then what are you doing right? That's right. <laughs> are you really cutting grass? <laughs> Plus it acts as a fertilizer too when I'm all the clippings go in the yard. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, traffic's a lot worse now. Our school's up. Yeah. I noticed that one day we were trying to get to um, where we were at um, the store in, Han in Alva. Oh, the Handy. Uh, the Handy. And, and it was like instantly there was tr so much traffic we couldn't even, like, didn't know what to do. We had to go the other way. Yeah. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Snake eating the snake. I hope we can get a video of that this week. Snake eating snakes? It's always a good thing. Yeah, it's a nice little neighborhood. Drive like your kids live here. My kids would never live here. No, I'm just <laughs> How dare you insinuate that my kids would live here? They'll live somewhere better. What we got going on here? Road construction. It's just a work area ahead. Well, that's perfect. I had them set that sign up for us because we're gonna be right here too. That's how it works. It's like we have work area of people. We got work to do. There's work in to be done area. in this area. So we're almost to the next spot, I'm driving up on it. So we were just at Bill's house, and um, Bill's are one of our customers. Um, and um, one of our value customers. Yeah, one of our value customers. So we're at Bill's, and we're. Um, Weed eating in the back, and this this random old guy. At the time, I don't know who he is. He comes walking up to me, and he says, <laughs> "He says the next time you go into my property, he's like I'm calling the cops." And I'm like, kind of stood there. I was like, "What are you, what are you talking about?" He said, "Last week, you guys made, you drove through my yard and made big old holes in my yard." And he's yelling. And this guy is like upset, yelling at me. And so he's like, okay, and so I was like, well, I'm sorry, uh, we won't do it again. And then Haley comes over and says, she's like, well, she kind of came to my rescue kind of thing. You know, she sees me getting yelled at. So she's like, well, you know that it's not your yard. She, he said, it is my yard. She's like, but she was talking about being in the back because he was in the in the back of Bill's yard in on somebody else's property, not just like on their front porch, but like in the back where we were working, where I was meeting. Through a fence and everything. He threw a fence, yeah, like literally like cross. Like it's not like he just saw me out in the front and he decided to go. It's like he came looking for me on somebody else's property, went into their backyard, like literally trespassing, is what he was doing. Um, and then he's. So and then Haley's like, "What's well, not your property?" And he was like, "Yes, it is my property." She said, "I know, I've seen you yelling." She's like, "I've seen you yelling at, at the roofers." And he said, "What'd you say?" And she said, "She like walked away." She's like, "Not your property." And he goes, "He's like, yes, it's my property." <laughs> he starts like getting all pissed off at her. He starts like swearing at her. Watch, of course, I didn't like very much. <laughs> I was gonna let the old guy go. All right, but then I got kind of upset, so I followed him. And, you know, in calming down and walking, I realized that this guy's just some grumpy old dude who probably has nothing better to do. You know what I mean? Uh, it reminds me of the movie Up. You know, the old man, he's a real grumpy, but then when you see the beginning of the movie, you realize why he was like, probably like literally the old man from Up. Almost had it. It flew right past my face. It's a fly. For those who are seeing this, swatting at the air. <laughs> Killer incarnate flies. Yes, one of them. One of them flies. <laughs> but, so anyways, so then this guy, like, so I follow him. I see the guy, he's like walking. I'm walking behind him with the weed eater. Still going, so that way it's not like I'm sneaking up on him. But I was like, sir, where? I'm like, 
where's um, I go, where's your property line? He said, right there, and he points at the stick, which, by the way, I did not know that was the property line. I, I was using, was the black fence. I was going all the way to the black fence, and there's a fence, and that black fence is another four feet over near some palm trees. So it turns out those palm trees aren't even part of, of Bill's property. So now when, and I had it weeded, it, and the funny thing is I had weeded it all the way to where the straight where the line is, and I actually made a little level and it kind of brought it back. And so um, as he's like complaining, you could totally see where I weeded this little like little smooth path. And I'm just like, the whole time I'm thinking, dang. Like I literally was on his property. If technically I was, you know, on his property. So he probably saw me over there and was like, oh, this dude's on my property again or something, you know? Well, I don't know, whatever the reason was to come over and trespass on somebody else's property and gripe at the employees that this guy has, which at that moment, you know, now I'm, I'm talking to this guy, here comes um, my boss, Cam, he comes over, um, you know, and and the owner, Bill, comes over as well. Um, and Bill's talking to, to this guy, telling him like, like, why are you yelling at one, coming out to my property? Two, why are you yelling at the people that I hired to do work for me? He's like, and if you have an issue with them, bring it to me. He's like, not to the people directly. Which then it kind of, the guy was like getting back and forth and he was a lot calmer then when he saw that he was outnumbered. Um, but it was, he was pretty brave when he was threatening to put me in jail for being on his property. So, uh, needs to say that these are the adventures of, uh, of you know, the mowing crew. You have to deal with people sometimes and their different personality types. To be um, continued though. Yeah. We'll run into him again. I'm, I'm sure he'll, he's going to be like our nemesis. <laughs> he's going to be like, he's kind of like Wario, like Mario to his Wario. <laughs> he's, you know, it's just one of those things where he probably will continue to be uh, a nuisance since he's so close to Bill. So as long as we're going to Bill's, we're more than likely um, going to have run into this guy. Um, one of the first times I'd gone to Bill's, I actually saw that and heard this guy yelling at people and we're like, oh, what was that? And Haley was like, well, he's yelling at the roofers to get up telling them because they parked on his side of the road and he wanted them out. Like, do not come on my side of the road kind of thing. Like, who told you you can park on this side? So the guy obviously has territorial issues. I think if he was a dog, he would be a chihuahua, um, you know, kind of thing. Um, he probably has mommy, daddy issues. His parents might be closely related. I don't know. Um, but I'm, it's all speculation, of course, you know, and it's, it's uh, 2021 and we forgive everybody, you know, love, love, um, uh, love the sinner, hate the sin, right? So it's what we're, we're going to do. We're going to try to continue to, to love on this guy and uh, hopefully break him down. Maybe he needs Jesus and maybe we'll have a moment or, an ability, uh, or a chance at one point to minister to this guy and maybe bring him salvation. You know, I'm not saying that he's not saved. I'm just maybe he's not, you know, or it's not acting like he's saved. Yeah, he did. He definitely didn't act like he was saved. Yeah, it's true. Very true. So, uh, that being said, um, we will continue this. Uh, we'll record it next time. Yeah, next time there will be footage. Next time. All right.